Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again back with another fitness video for you. Now in my last video, I talked about how ectomorphs or how lean guys can pack on muscles. So I've been bombarded with queries from all different kind of guys saying that Tarun, you're talking about ectomorphs. Why aren't you talking about guys who are fat or you know guys you know who are reasonably decent build, how they can lose weight or how they can pack on muscles. So in this video, I will be covering you know guys who are a little bit of you know they have a little bit of fat around their belly or are, are genetically fat or let's call them endomorphs how they can pack on muscle so in other words this is a fat man fat man's guide to muscle gain and when i say fat guys i really don't mean obese i mean you know you know relatively fat so how can fat guys gain muscles so before i do that guys you know i've been a fat kid all my life and I have had this one issue that you know I just didn't know how to address it which was that as a fat guy what is the right way to go about weight loss should I even do gym or not or if I were to do gymming should I do strength training or should I first lose weight through cardio this is a very tricky question that nobody would nobody could answer it for me but I'm going to answer that for you so guys if you're fat first first understand that two kinds of people you know who come in a fat category or, or, or rather obese category one are people who are generally fat you know uh, within a, in a probably in a fat percentage level of somewhere between 20 percent and above 20 percent of fat percentage and above you know but they want they, they have aesthetic gains they they, they aspire to have a set of gains so they try to do something about it plus there are people you know who have about 30 percent fat percentage and above they come in an obese category people like adnan sami you know other guys you know so if you are in the latter category guys the best way to go about you folks is obviously you know I've seen a lot of guys doing, you know, surgeries. You know, your focus is primarily around weight loss, you know, by hook or crook. You just have to lose weight. But in this video, I will not be covering the latter category. I'll be covering the first category, which is if you are in a in a fat percentage category of 20 to 30 percent and how you can A, bring your fat percentage down and back on more muscles. So guys, are you ready? First, if you are thinking of, of, of losing fat first of all get that thing out of your head that the only way to lose fat is to do cardio you know I've talked about in multiple videos of mine and I've shared this that you know cardio may not be the only way to go about fat loss the bad thing or the rather the most ineffective thing about cardio is while you're on it while you're running on a treadmill or while you're doing your elliptor or cycling you are burning calories but the moment you're off it you know your calorie also comes to a complete halt whereas if you were to do a good strength training program you may not burn as many calories compared to a good cardio session but what would happen is you'll elevate uh, your heart rate or you elevate your metabolism for next 48 hours which means you'll be able you'll be continue to burn same set of calories for the next 48 hours so you think about it what you want to do now coming back to a training program or what exactly you should do as a fat person or as an endo off to pack on more muscle so first guys understand that there is this myth around people saying that you know what uh, you can gain fat uh, you can you can lose fat and gain muscle at the same time yes it has happened to some people you know some people uh, uh, like good bodybuilders and good fitness athletes they, they do that and as part of their transformation but if you haven't taken your body to another level which means if you haven't evolved your body it may be a little challenging for you to do both the things at the same time so my humble request to you folks is address what you want to do now you'll say that you know, Tarun, you tell us what you want to do always as a thumb rule guys if you are endo and an endomorph or your fat your first goal should be to actually minimize your fat percentage level once you bring your body to a level then it's entirely your call what you want to do with your body you want to pack on more muscle or you want to get more self shredded it's entirely but if as a fat person as an endomorph if you were to lift heavy or continue to do strength training what you're already doing is you, your frame is already a little bigger by doing strength training you're making it even more bigger difficult for you in the long run to lose that extra fat because what will happen happen is as an endomorph you'll continue to get bigger but that big illusion will not be of any muscle it'll be water weight eventually you have to get rid of that water weight right that's what strength training heavy strength training may do to you so as a thumb rule start training with weights at about you know 60% or 70% of your one rep max which means your your uh, repetition should be about 10 to under 10 to 12 repetitions you know same set of exercises uh, you know uh, and probably you don't have to lift too heavy just between I would also say go on a step ahead you know you can also come into a little bit of muscle endurance category between 10 to 15 repetition but yes you may want to add another variable to it which means instead of doing four exercises for each body part you can add probably another one one or two extra so you can do six exercises for one particular 
what would happen is by doing extra in the gym or performing extra sets you're also burning more calories and you're elevating your heart rate and you're increasing your metabolism for next 48 hours so it's always a good idea for you folks to add extra in your training number two you know uh, i've talked about ectomorphs where they need to only train thrice a week whereas you as an endomorph as a person you really have to do five to six days a week guys you know and remember because you're not lifting heavy you may your initially your recovery may not be of any importance to you because you will not be getting too tired of it so you can actually push your body to another level yes once your workout gets more grilling once your intensity goes up the roof then you can think how you can actually take breaks or probably have a you know a rest day in between your workout so in other words uh, train part five to six days a week uh, minimum uh, uh, for you folks now comes the eating part you know uh, I'm, I'm an endomorph and you know guys i have no confidence saying that you know carbs are not my best friends you know they don't do well in my body yes i've been i've experimented a lot of uh, f- with experiment a lot of food i've taken a lot of carbs you know right from white rice brown rice you know sweet potatoes and and quinoas and oats of the world they are good complex carbs guys but remember you know even though they are good but on endomorphs carbs usually take a different turn all together turn all together what you really need to focus as an endomorph is have your carbs about 30 40 50 grams of carbs before your workout not in time that's the best time for you to have carbs because what will happen is you know your body does not adjust carbs too well so it will get stored as uh, fat and as water which is exactly what you don't want so in your 1 2 3 nutrition rule if as an ectomorph your primarily source of primary source of diet is 60 70% carbs here as a as an endomorph your source of food should come from 50 to 60% of protein at least 50% of protein and what exactly are those proteins i'm talking about here you know your lean meat I'm talking about chicken breast I'm talking about fish you know avoid soya at all costs you know and you know if you've seen my previous videos I had or, or I still continue to have some issues with my chest fat and soya is not good for men you know uh, no matter what people say you know you can google it you can do your research I've seen a lot of guys you know I've seen it with my own eyes with my own body uh, you can have it once in 10 days or something just you know soya chops for your taste buds but not as a primary source of protein you if you really want a good primary source of protein is your lean meat or Uh, uh probably whey proteins after your workout so that's on the diet front on the recovery front guys you know you really have to keep your uh, uh, first you have to keep your food in check you know your macros in check you know you can't be binging because i can tell you that as an endomorph you can't get away with food that easy you know because your metabolism is not as fast as an ectomorph so you really have to be very careful what you're eating plus you know uh, endomorph usually you know have this uh, ability uh, to turn uh, uh, to uh, probably usually have high estrogen levels in the body which means you know an estrogen is responsible for a lot of fat gain a lot of water storage in the body so you You have to eat food which are very anti-estrogen in nature, which includes your asparagus, you know, which includes you know your lettuce, broccoli. Add more fibers in your diet, guys. Whatever you eat, add more fibers because that's the only way you know you'll be able to fix this issue. Now comes another part. Now you've done all the right things. You've got your training in place. You've got your food in place. You know, uh, you exactly know your body type. Now go. go in the gym and attack as far as supplements goes you know you really don't want to get into that supplementation mode of taking burners and stuff like that the only burner that you would need is a caffeine when i say caffeine i mean you can just probably drink some uh, coffee you know before your workout and that's good enough and if you really want to accelerate your uh, uh, fat loss efforts what you may want to do is right before training uh, uh, you know you can have a, a cup of coffee or you can even train empty stomach you know for few days and then see how your body is getting accustomed to it and then switch it over and and train in the evening where you can have something to eat like you know like 30 to 40 grams of carbs before your workout so the idea for uh, for you as an endomorph is to keep changing timings of your workout keep changing you know food you know keep changing training patterns because remember guys we are not blessed we consistently have to try out different things to get results and you know and trust me uh, i've been there you know uh, and as a fat guy i can tell you that that you know uh, uh, it's very easy also at the same time if you get it right yet it can be very challenging if you keep trying out different things whatever you're trying guys you know first give it a shot for a few weeks see if it's working how your body is reacting to it it could be a training program it could be a diet if it's not working 
change it guys you know how difficult that is so i hope this information comes in handy to you i hope you imbibe these uh, uh, these variables into uh, into your uh, training and food plan because as an endomorph it can be challenging anyone if you have any questions around it feel free to reach out to me either on my facebook youtube or instagram and i'll be very happy to help you with your training goals so until we meet again peace